We don't know what to call it, but there's chicken, chorizo, a lot of other great things, and it's done in one skillet. Everybody needs one of these. You gotta have something in your back pocket you can throw together pretty easily that doesn't mess up a whole lot of junk. And that's what today is. You're gonna like this. I'll tell you right now, we're having technical problems. Max is not particularly happy. So if you don't hear him respond to my questions, you'll know why, right? Right, Fuck you, Edel Crone. Oh, he's mad at the equipment. That's always rough, that's always rough. Uh, I'm heating my pan on my uh, grill because it's just a stove and oven that's outside. You get that, right? I tell people all the time, don't want to stink up the house or something? Use your grill. They go, well, I can't use a pan and a grill. Of course you can. I do it all the time and today's a perfect example of that. Look, chorizo is part of this. I could cook it with the chicken, but everything would be flaming bright red and I don't want that. So I'm gonna cook the chorizo first, take it out, the rest of the stuff, then it goes back in, then we finish, then we eat, then we go home. Cool? Cool. cool. Ah, he's responding, Chance is responding. It's all good here, ladies and gentlemen, all good. Chorizo happens now, right here. We've used this before, it's a tube of pork chorizo. And we go into our pan with it our hot pan and this we just want to cook doesn't need oil there's enough fat in it already so it doesn't look like it wants to break up but as it starts to cook it absolutely will and after about uh, four or five minutes of this it'll be cooked and delicious so just keep working at it if you can take the heat this grill is very hot right now. And I know I repeat myself a lot, but for those that might not want the pork chorizo, there is soy chorizo, which is a very good alternative. And while the chorizo cooks, we can cut up our chicken. We've got about a pound of chicken thighs that we're just gonna cut up. And these little bits of fat, they're not bothering me at all today. They're just working themselves in and delivering some flavor. And I just want these in bite-sized pieces. So do all your cutting, take your time, there's no rush. All right, chicken's done, check the chorizo. Our chorizo is done, so let's do this. We're gonna take it out, put it in a little bowl. Probably should have done this with a spoon, but it'll be okay. All right, this goes off to the side. We give our pan a quick wipe. That's what I, I mean, look, we're using red enchilada sauce, so it probably would have been okay. But as a general rule, if you don't want everything red, cook your chorizo, take it out, add it back in later. Now we'll add a little oil to the pan and the beginning vegetables, which are diced green pepper and white onion. Oops. So these guys are gonna get a few minutes to soften. Onion, green pepper, soften nicely, starting to even get a little bit of color and that's okay. We'll add another little splash of avocado oil, quick mix, and then our chicken, just like that. Now we want the chicken to start to get a little color on it, so try and spread it out into one even layer best you can, leave it for a bit, and then we'll start to move it around. And after a few minutes, yeah, look, you're not gonna see uh, like seared in color like it was on the grill itself, but it definitely has picked up some cooked color. Oh look, you see some of the pieces are starting to get there. This is gonna cook for a half an hour once everything else goes in. So you're really just getting some color on the outside and we're good here. So I'm gonna add some garlic couple big cloves, knock that in, give it a stir. Oh, it smells good. Now I'm coming back with the chorizo, or as my friend Greg incorrectly says, chorizo. We'll just plop that in, give it a, just a little bit of a mix. You don't have to be too anal at this point. 
because we're adding other stuff that needs to be stirred. And the first one is a cup of basmati rice. We want this to start to pick up some of the flavors a little bit. Okay, honestly, I could just, I know the rice isn't cooked, but the smell is so magnificent. I could take a fork and just start eating this right now. Give that a minute or two, and then we add everything else. And the rest of the ingredients begin with a can of diced tomatoes, chilies, and cilantro. Lovely. But because we like the diced chilies, we'll add more. We'll add a tin of enchilada sauce, red, and a cup of chicken broth. Beautiful. A little Mexican oregano, a little cumin, salt and pepper and we mix. Well, you want everything beautifully incorporated. And when everything's mixed in and beautiful, we leave it, we bring it to a quick little boil and look how beautiful it is now. Bubbling perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the heat down underneath this to low. I'm leaving this side on high because I want to cook this like it's in an oven. I'll cover this up with foil because it doesn't have a lid. Ow, 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 ow. Hold on, I'm just trying to make this a little snug, a little more snug. Now we'll close the whole thing up and leave it. That's now gonna take uh, 15 to 20-ish minutes. Everything's cooked except the rice. When the rice is ready, it's ready. If you were doing this in an oven, not on a grill, put your oven at 350 and you'll be fine. Now I realize that I was way too anal about the chorizo. So a recipe from a friend, I've made it before. The chorizo was a new ad today and I got carried away with worrying about it being red. You know what color that whole oven thing is? It's red. Would have been fine. Don't do what I do, do what I say. I don't need to do that extra step. So we're gonna come back there's only one thing left to do when that's ready. And you'll see it in a couple seconds. And it's time, so let's have a look. And we take the foil off. Ready? It's gonna be beautiful. Dang! Look at <laughs> You know what? It's kind of like a crazy Mexican paella. But now, the crowning touch. Tell me when you're ready. He nodded his head. It gets cheese. It gets just a layer of any kind of cheese you have. This is this mixed Mexican jack and cheddar combo. Now we shut the lid, give it a couple minutes to melt, and we're there. Ready, and here we are. Oh my goodness, look at you. Damn. When did that happen? Well, just a minute or so ago, but look at it. In my opinion, a little green would be acceptable, Max. I think you would agree with me. He doesn't want it. No, just... Oh, no. Well, Max worries I'd green too much. No, no, no. Is yeah, that I it? Just, like, smallerly. Yeah, I saw some big chunks. Well, do you want me to... Excuse me while I fucking make my cilantro smaller so Max can... I don't want him to cry. <laughs> okay. Little cilantro? There, how's that? Beautiful. Definitely make to break the dish. It does. It needs it. A little green. Come on. I wouldn't touch it if it didn't have it. You're an idiot. Just look at no it. No chance of green. Mama mia. Look at that cilantro, everybody. Rice cooked. Chicken cooked. Chorizo already cooked. Onions, peppers. This is a dream. This is like one of those dishes you take to somebody's house when they're sick or they've had a baby or they've gotten married or... They had hemorrhoids or something, I don't know. It's, a, it's like a potluck kind of dish. It's a welcome home dish. It's a hope you feel better dish. It's, you know. Hey, Uncle Charlie, I know you can't sit down for a week or two, but you'll enjoy this standing up. And look how beautiful. The cheesy, melty, and you can see the chorizo grease coming up through the cheese. Makes this even better. So the idea is just get some. Put some on your plate. Green chilies that are in here. Oh, look at that meltiness. And here's what I like to do. I like some sour cream right there. 
And then I like a little diced avocado because you should have it and a little diced tomato. And that to me is like the perfect bite. That to me is the perfect way to serve this. Now, Maxi, shall we? Do it. Let's do this. So first up, you need a bite with nothing in it. I mean, without the, the toppings. This nice bite right there. Chicken, the rice. Oh yeah. Oh, the smell, the smell. While this thing was cooking, amazing. Mm, mm, mm. I want you to make this. Now, the tomato, the avocado, and for sure the sour cream. The spice in this is beautiful. If you wish you were eating this right now, now's the perfect time. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Because this is what we do. We make food that you want to eat. Oh my gosh. Perfect level of spice. Delicious. The rice, the chicken, the whole thing. The diced green chilies in here. And the chorizo. I've made it before. I've not made it with the chorizo. That's the way to do it. Thank you for being here. And see ya. You can go now. Go on. No, seriously, you can go. Totally. They're not leaving, Max. They're just staying right there. They're going. You go first. No, you go. No, you hang up. No, you hang up.